You see, Prime Minister Modi has very cleverly your Parivarwad family bastion of Shimoga. Expressed in this blog are hosted on my own website, are strictly personal and do not reflect the views of any organization. Namaskar. Hello and welcome, friends, to Straight Bat, my weekly video blog, where, as the title suggests, I comment with a straight bat. Now, in the last decade, perhaps the most effective BJP political campaign against the Congress has been to label the Congress as a party of Parivarwad or family rule. That this campaign has struck a chord with the people is quite simply because it is, my friends, to a large extent, the truth. The Congress first family, the Nehru Gandhis, have been the final port of call for most of the last seven decades, except a brief period in the 1990s when first Narsimha Rao and then very briefly Sitaram Kesri called the shots. Okay, so we know that. This is all known that the Gandhis run the show, how no decision can be taken in Congress without the concurrence of 10 Janpat or now Tughlaq Road, how sons and daughters of prominent congressmen have got special privileges. But what of the BJP or the Bharatiya Janta Party? You see, Prime Minister Modi has very cleverly turned the narrative by saying that the entire country from Kashmir to Kanyakumari is his parivar. His many followers uh, in the Congress, they would be called chamchas, have quickly followed suit. Each one of them, whether they be ministers or social media army, has changed their Twitter profile to include Modi ka parivar. As I said, if this was the Congress, it would be called plain and simple chamchagiri and darbari politics. In the BJP, it's called loyalty to the leader and clever politics. But forget all that for a moment. Let's just talk Parivar or family. But this time, let's talk Parivar BJP style for a change. 140 crore yes, Prime Minister Modi doesn't have any son or daughter to carry forward a family legacy. And he could call that one of his assets. Yes, Amit Shah's son is running the BCCI. Well, because it helps to have family clout in running cricket administration in India. But hey, what of the number of senior BJP leaders whose children are now entering politics, who are in politics because of their family surname? On Wednesday, the BJP released its list of 72 candidates for the Lok Sabha elections. And I tried to find out just how many of them have family in politics. And the results are quite startling. It's a rather long list. Let me give you a sample. Anurag Thakur, the debonair information and broadcasting minister, is the son of the former Himachal Pradesh BJP chief minister Prem Kumar Dhumal. Anurag's brother, by the way, is also a top cricket official. So I guess whether it's sports or politics, it runs in the family there. Then you've got B.B. Raghavendra, son of the former Karnataka chief minister and strongman B.S. Yedurappa. He is the BJP's candidate from the family bastion of Shimoga. Don't also forget that Mr. Yedurappa's other son, B.B. Vijendra, is also doing rather well. He is the BJP's Karnataka state president. Let's just stay with Karnataka. The party's Lok Sabha candidate from Haveri is Basavraj Bomai. Former Karnataka Chief Minister, he is the son of the late former Union Minister S.R. Bomai, also a former Karnataka Chief Minister himself. So the late Bomai was a socialist from the Janta Dal. His son is in the BJP. In politics, you can always switch loyalties. Turn to another high-profile BJP candidate this time. Piyush Goyal, Union Minister who is contesting for the Lok Sabha for the first time. Goyal's father was a long-time Jansang and BJP man, Ved Prakash Goyal, a respected former party treasurer. Goyal has replaced a sitting North Mumbai BJP MP, Gopal Shetty, very popular. Gopal Shetty had won by a huge margin of several lakh votes last time. But it's Parivar time, so Piyush Goyal gets Mumbai North. Let's now turn to Maharashtra, or stay with Maharashtra, Raksha Khadse who represents the BJP from Raver Lok Sabha constituency, is the daughter-in-law of Eknath Kharse, once in the BJP, now an NCP leader. You see, in Maharashtra, it's all in the family, whichever party you are in. 
if the pawars can have their legs in different parties why not the khadses again staying with maharashtra daughter of late bjp leader gopinath munde pankaja munde has been given a bjp ticket from bid so who does she replace well guess what her younger sister pritam also a two time mp and whose seat are they fighting from their late father gopinath munde's seat as i said it's all in the family then there is sujay vikhe patel who is the party's ahmednagar candidate once again and comes from one of the most powerful sugar baron families of maharashtra with at least three generations of vikhe patels in politics had he been in the congress he would have been called a dynast a rising sun son in the bjp well yes he will be seen as just another gen next leader turn now to the northeast to tripura where the bjp list includes kriti singh dev barma whose brother pradyut heads the tribal dominated tipra mota party which has now just become a bjp ally pradyut was once in the congress their father was a member of parliament when he was in the congress pradyut is seen to be part of was seen to be part of rahul gandhi's entitled dynasty so what are he and his sisters now now that they are in the bjp's embrace again you tell me my friends let's turn back to maharashtra for a moment heena gavit is the daughter of vijay gavit bjp mla once with the ncp she is the bjp's candidate from nandurbar again all in the family i have to stick with my home state of maharashtra because anup dhotre is the bjp candidate from akola who is he replacing his father sanjay dhotre as i said sab family ki baat hai it's all in the family let's now turn to dadra and nagar haveli and diu the union territory where the bjp has actually poached kalaben delkar from the shiv sena as their candidate kalaben is the widow of the late mohan delkar who for years was the mp from the union territory so we may talk of sonia gandhi taking over the gandhi family political legacy in delhi but will we ever live, refer to kalaben as part of the delkar legacy in dadra and nagar haveli nor is kalaben alone from ambala the bjp ticket goes to banto kataria whose husband ratan kataria was a member of parliament and minister till he passed away last year now i mentioned about a dozen names here already but i could be tempted to give you a very long list late sushma swaraj's talented daughter basuri has got the new delhi bjp ticket as one of the youngest candidates of the party rajnath singh son pankaj is an mla and vice president of the up bjp not to of course forget the slew of so called entitled dinis who switched over from the congress to the bjp in recent years ashok chavan son of the late shankar rao chavan jyotiraditya sindhya son of madhav rao sindhya rpn singh son of former congress union minister cpn singh jitin prasada son of jitendra prasada anil antony son of ak antony he's got a bjp ticket too the list simply keeps growing and don't forget the bjp has also tied up with parties like the janata dal secular or jds which only a few months ago amit shah ji had branded as the father son party so you can ally with so called dynastical parties don't forget chirag paswan's party son of ram vilas paswan telugu desam party of chandra babu naidu and his son nara lokesh fact is as i keep saying the list keeps growing i know what bjp supporters watching this video are now going to say well none of these leaders or individuals have automatically become party chiefs simply because of their family surnames unlike the gandhis in the congress or the families who control regional parties to that extent there is no hereditary succession to the top post in the bjp the bjp president whether it's a jp nadda or many others before him are not products of hereditary succession good argument but only up to a point please tell me now do you really believe that all these names that i have mentioned here all of them have risen in politics purely on merit and not helped by any family networks truth is my friends and this is the point i want to drive home today 
family raj is alive and kicking across political parties in the country with the possible exception of the left being from a political family is therefore a huge advantage in a country of 1.4 billion people we talk about films and nepotism truth is politics in this country also smacks of nepotism and yes like a family business of parivar vaad one last thing when the congress released its list this week news channels quickly latched on to the names of gaurav gogoi and nakul nath to dismiss the congress as a party of sunrise son rise and family politics when i now look at the bjp list as i've shown you here there are probably far more candidates today in the bjp with family connections or certainly an equal number so i ask you will any news channel call the bjp a party of sunrise or parivar vaad or is that asking for too much think about it that was the straight bat do of course subscribe to my youtube channel for many more such videos for now stay well stay safe jai hind namaskar